We have this zone here of oxidized schists and you have some quartz, some chlorite, and a mix of rock in here. So there's a couple areas that you can see the gray there, which is iron sulfides. You can see iron sulfides there. And this is basically one shear, one altered zone. This is exposed up there in a little bit of bedrock and float boulders and below the road where I'm standing on. So here you can see some uh, disseminated iron pyrite. This is quartz right here. So what we wanted to do is hike down a bit. There's lots of float boulders everywhere. Here's one I just found. We're just about 20 meters below the road. You can see the iron pyrite there. Iron pyrite. I'm gonna hammer this open quickly. Interesting float boulder here. This is from above the road. So we just broke off this piece right here and you had a sulfide vein. You can see the iron pyrite all in the center. And what it's looking like is all this mineralized portion was enriched by a secondary event around a quartz vein with this iron pyrite. So you can see the the quartz here has a little bit more coarse iron pyrite. And then around it you have a secondary depositing of finer iron sulfides. So this actually looks like it's quite a large size. And I would say this continues all the way up until here. Then you have uh, tophaceous rock. So there's quite a bit of uh, mineral here. When you see this quartz filled with chalcopyrite, that's when you know you got the good stuff. This area is really rich in copper, silver, gold, lead, zinc. So generally you see stuff deposited in quartz and if it's chalcopyrite, it's gonna be a decent grade. Here's another piece of a float boulder here. I'd say your host rock contains an average of 5 to 20% iron pyrite. So right here you have granodiorite, volcanic tuff, granite, and right about here is where we think that there's a rock contact based on the rock exposed up on the hill. And you can see the difference in rocks right here even these float rocks. And as you get over here, you get more into the oxidized, mineralized portion that we've been seeing. So we wanna walk this way because this zone is potentially a couple hundred meters wide. We actually think we're on an old road. This looks like an old road, but you got trees that are easily almost a hundred years old. This is kind of where the road ends. Then you have a little deer trail here. So we'll follow this. So we made it down another few hundred meters and we're by a creek here and a little waterfall. Unfortunately, we don't have a pan with us because we weren't planning on going down this far today, but we can at least look at the bedrock because there's bedrock exposed. This should be in line with the zone 
if it continues down this far. Nice little waterfall. There's lots of oxidized samples in the creek. So you know that the mineralization probably continues up there or there's a gap between the zones. But where we want to go is actually down there because that's where the zone lines up with. So this is interesting here. You got massive quartz here, all along here. I'm not 100% if this actually follows the creek or if it goes up there. I have to expose the moss a bit. But this is probably a fault and it's probably following the fault based on the rocks down there. There's no mineralization, but uh, that's a pretty wide section of quartz exposed. More quartz. It's definitely falling this way. There's more exposed there. So I'm pretty sure this is a fault we're following. We just need to try and get down to the mineralized area down there. So we're in a bit of a pickle. We've gone down so far that I can't get down and Justin number two can't get back up because this is just a steep cliff going all the way down. He's about 100 meters below me in a canyon right now, checking out the rocks. I'm checking up here. He's got to go all the way back up and then by the time he gets here we might have to head back up. So we'll see if he can find anything down there. I'm going to start making my way up. If I hear screams, I know he's in trouble. All right, so he's back. What'd you see down there? Well, it was a uh, good exploration done down there. Some volcanic rock, some uh, quartz veins up to about a meter, and uh, it looks like a good spot to do some more further exploration. Any economic mineralization down there? Well, besides the cliff walls down there being fairly steep and slippery, uh, looks like there's some disseminated uh, pyrite, five to maybe 10, maybe even 15%. There you have it from the source. We got some disseminated mineral down there, but it's too difficult to get to just because of the steep canyon walls. So we'll have to find another way, a different day. For now, let's head up. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Tripped over a piece of fungus. Okay, well that's where we're going to leave off. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Short video. We'll be back. Peace.